Jong Kim, who is registered as the 27th uh, Korean Intangible Cultural Assets. Ms. Young Mi E serves as the director of Youngwon Cultural Foundation Arizona and California branch. She is also the director of the Arizona Asian American Association and president of the Korean Women's International Network of Arizona. Since 2006, Ms. Ms. E has performed numerous Korean traditional wedding and lawyer wedding, handbook show, Korean tea ceremony, a world Korean food festival, and Korean kimchi festival at the Korean Cultural Center, Korean general uh, consulate, and various educational institutes. Uh, all right. <laughs> Compare these two uh, handbooks we wear. Looks different. Right. Looks different. Okay. Uh, this one, the, the handbook, this young lady wear is traditional handbook. And my handbook is uh, contemporary. So modern handbook. So it's it's different. And modern handbook is uh, easy to wear. That is the difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cultural Center's Korean Culture Night. We have Ms. Youngmi E, who has prepared tea ceremony demonstration. This is called Everyday Tea Ceremony. She starts with a big bow. Can we please give her a round of applause? Let me tell you about the tea wares. We have the teapot, the cooling bowl, teacup, tea scoop, tea saucer, wastewater bowl, tea setting mat, tea strainer, and all of them on a tea table. enhances the enjoyment of tea making while displaying proper etiquette. Alex, I think you can maybe even come um, in front of these tables so our Zoom participants can watch. While kneeling, to show proper etiquette. She's bringing the water into the bowl to prepare for the water heating. If you can't see, feel free to stand up and maybe even get a little bit closer to the stage.
And once the water has been heated, she brings it over to the teaware. The first step is to warm up the teacups. With the water that has been heated, she's pouring it into the empty teacups to heat them. After waiting for a little bit, she's ready to put in the tea leaves into the teaware. The heated water that had been transferred onto a different bigger bowl is now the perfect temperature to be used to make the tea. While the tea is being made, she's emptying out the water from the teacups. Once again, that was in order to warm up the teacups. Now the tea is ready to be poured in to the teacups. She's pouring it evenly into all three teacups. She is preparing to ser serve them to her guests by putting the teacups onto the saucer. Now the tea is ready to be tried. With her left hand supporting the teacup and the right hand gently covering the tea. Please remember how to hold the tea properly so later when you try the tea, you can follow. First, raise it up to your chest and slowly bring it closer to your face First, smell the tea. Look at the color of the tea also. 
and try. You want to drink without making any noise, slurp, slurp noise, and have three to four sips. Don't just drink the whole thing at once. And that concludes the tea ceremony. So as you can see on the tables here, we have tea ready for you with some tea snacks. Today's tea is lotus leaf persimmon tea. And she made iced tea because she thought today would be hot, so iced tea would be perfect. It has lots of vitamin C and it's slightly sweet in taste. And it's been brewed for like a, a day or so, so she says it should be um, pretty strong. This is good for your health, good for your immunity. So, 선생님, 이 중간에서부터 끝에서부터 받아오면 되나요? First the cup, right? Okay. So first, grab the cup. 먼저, okay. So everyone will grab the cup first, and then come around to receive the tea. 그럼 동선이 저 끝부터예요, 아니면은? Okay. 저기 뭐예요? 그건 아시겠죠? Okay, yeah. So we're starting from kind of the middle part where the cups are. So maybe starting from the first row, the front row. Please grab a plate with a cup. You'll first get some tea snacks and then the tea at the end. She needs help, one person over here. Okay, Jenna. Okay, Katie, I'm watching. Did you look at what she did? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So even if the tea cups that you have, they're just plastic, maybe you can pretend they are the actual tea wares and try holding it properly. So just like Miss E said, your left hand is supporting the cup and right hand is slightly covering the tea cup. And depending on how you feel that day, how your mood is, you can imply your mood uh, based on how you hold the teacup. So if one has their hand fully covering the teacup, that means, oh, don't talk to me. I, I'm, my doors are closed. <laughs> I'm not in a good mood. But if you're in a very, very good mood, you open your hand so your teacup will be shown fully. So only like a little bit of your hand is covering your teacup. And that indicates that you are having a great, great day.
Most of the tea snacks are made by Miss E herself. And in just a bit, we're going to try making one of the tea snacks uh, by ourselves. And many people are asking, is the flour in the tea bowl real? She says, yes it is. It's real flour, lotus, lotus flour.
안 마시고 기다렸대요. 어. <웃음> 제일 이제 윗 어른이 먼저 마시, 마시도록. <웃음> Okay, which means Missy, she has to she has to take her sip, right? Okay, so let's have her demonstrate one more time. 선생님 잠시 그 이거 해주시는 거 다른 분이 좀 도와주시고 연비 선생님 다시 중간에서 잡는 방법 다시 좀 보여주세요. Okay. Everyone try. Left hand supporting. I remember, how do you feel today? You want to secretly give a message to your friend? Okay. <laughs> Look at the color. Look at the color, she says. And then smile. Slowly bring it up. Oh. <laughs> it's oh, just a yeah. little bit. It's on the color. Don't lower your head to smell it. You bring your hand up to smell the tea. And then Try a sip. We'll try making one of the snacks ourselves. After making the snacks will be hanbok show. So to my models, once again, thank you for volunteering. We're going to have you meet behind the RE hall to get dressed. So once again, this is after we make the tea snack. And to make the tea snacks, there's uh, like for your hands, wipes, and also gloves. So if you don't want to go to the restroom, I think we're, we're okay. So refreshing. Yeah. Oh, Oh, my God. 
So the traditional way of making this tea snack is to use dried persimmons and walnuts. Today we're using muhagua and pecan. They have similar taste and both also have good health benefits. All right, has anyone finished stuffing our muhagua? Oh. oh, what are you chewing, Missy? Are you? Did you eat? Oh, okay. I thought you ate the muhaga already. Oh man, <laughs> it was gonna be a game punishment just now. You know the ego. So she says after you stuff them and make them into good, pretty cute balls, keep the pecan filled fig inside the fridge for two hours or maybe 20 to 30 minutes in the freezer and then cut the pecan filled fig into thin slices that should measure like half an inch wide. Since we didn't have the time to put them in the fridge, it's not going to be exactly how we want it. But then we'll get to see what it looks like when we cut them into the tea snack pieces. She's having a hard time cutting them because they're not frozen. <laughs> so we have our assistant something memes. They're going to come around to help you cut the figs. <laughs> Though dinner is also already here, so we will start dinner right after our fashion show is over, and that'll be let's hope around 5:50. We had scheduled dinner to be like 5:50 to 6:30, and you can hang out until 7 p.m. Of a princess. First, we have the guard, the chief of police will be marching in Kugunbok. Danielle is representing the guard, round the baksu please. Maybe Danielle you can do like a twirl. chiefs of generals of the army during the Joseon dynasty. And if the chief can maybe stand closer to me. Next, we have the king and 
and the Queen who came to celebrate the happiest day. We have King June entering the stage. Bow down, everybody. Please wave to your citizens. <laughs> and the King, can you give us a little twirl? We want to see your costume. the strong vitality of life. The king is wearing ikseonggwan on his head, okde around his waist, and mokhwa as shoes. And now queen, queen? Oh. Yes, yes. Queen has entered the stage. Please round of applause. We have Queen Sophia. But look at her hair. Something's wrong. Oh, she's not ready just yet. All right, you'll get to see how the queen gets her hair ready. The headdress is put on the queen. Joseon era or headdresses. The queen is wearing Hoonsam with golden prints and embroidered flowers. These prints and embroidery represent wealth and nobility. The highest number of golden prints for the higher noble families. So her robe is full of gold. Wonsam is a ceremonial coat or jacket. The origin of Wonsam dates back to the unified Silla period, which came through the many costume forms um, from the Tang Dynasty and ancient Chinese dynasty. It was primarily worn by royalty, high-ranking court ladies, and noble women in the Joseon Dynasty. And afterwards, most commoners were allowed to wear this for weddings. The color and the decoration around the waist, shoulders, and back represented the social class of the person wearing it. Yellow was worn by the empress, red was worn by the queen, and so on. And as you can see, the red onesam, or the yellow red onesam, has the stripes. Red onesam has blue and yellow stripes. Uh, now even her headdress is ready. Can we give her another round of baksu? Oh, we want the king and the queen to both stand in the front. Okay.
Okay, please watch your steps and maybe kind of put your hands, arms out and give us a, a turn, please. So we can admire your hanbok. Wow. And the ladies in green, they're helping Miss E today. Can you give them a round, big round of paksu, please? Kamsamida. The female royal servants wear green tangi. This was also worn by noble families on formal occasions and ceremonies. And the chokji, uh, worn by Sophia that you see on uh, her head, indicates the rank in the government. Kamsamida. We please stand towards the back. Next, we have the Sonbi scholars. We have Missy. She's wearing the topo and kat on her head. They typically wear this coat and leather shoes. Kat is a type of hat during the Joseon dynasty. Some people in the management role would dress in this way as well. Once again, this is the scholar, Son Beware. Paksu! <laughs> Next we have another Son Bi scholar. Good luck. 
On the head of the bride, there are many fancy hair pieces and small embroidered hat called jokduri. And to hide her hands, a long piece of fabric called hansam is worn. <laughs> And the current music was used for a wedding, a Korean traditional wedding ceremony. I think there's some narration in the background. And the table you see in the middle, that is the traditional wedding table. You see the ducks in the front representing the couple, loving couple, different fruits, dried figs, there's dried, um, oh, there's also nuts and chestnuts. All right, so they will lower, he, one time a lower, a bow, right? Now they will slowly bow to each other. Oh, roll it up to reveal your face. Ah, oh, that's what he looks like. <laughs> All right, and now Okay, Beatrice, are you ready for the big bow? She, she's gonna get some help because you might need help. Okay. 자 영어로 좀 옆에서 말씀해 주세요. 최대한. So he's going to. You're gonna bend uh, knees, lower knees. Mm hmm. <laughs> You don't want to ruin the wedding table. Okay, bow to each other. <laughs> yeah, Patrick and Beatrice, they are actually a couple. They were always together, sitting together at the seminar, so cute together. So we just decided to marry them off today. Yeah, we didn't get their permission, but they're too cute. <laughs> Okay, half bow to the audience. Wow! Should we have everyone in front and we'll take a group photo? So can everyone please come in front of the wedding table and we'll take a group photo first of the models and then let's have everyone else join in. Okay, so everyone please to the front. All right, how about since he, this is Korean Cultural Center, 